In this picture here, you can see we start in the north. We start in Cote Roti, then Condriu, down to St. Joseph, uh, Croix Hermitage, and then little tiny Hermitage right here, and Cornas. And we're going to dive into each of those regions a little in a moment. So we always start with Northern Rhone talking about Syrah. Syrah is the only black grape that's permitted in uh, the Northern Rhone. Not in all of Rome, but just in the Northern Rhone. Um, and the Northern Rhone, because it's further north, it's cooler, plus with the Mistral winds, this is really the northern limits for ripening the grape Syrah. Um, and of course, then the most prized vineyards are going to be on those south facing slopes. You want that intense sunlight, and the river becomes very important for a reflection. The styles of Syrah in the Northern Rhone can vary. Some can be very light bodied, simple, black fruit, maybe even a little herbaceousness as is not uncommon in red grapes that are in a cool region, but very grippy tannin. Again, the tannins are not gonna get super, super ripe. Um, but in the warmer regions on the best, you know, those south facing steep slopes, the best sites, those wines are gonna be more deeply colored, fuller bodied, medium to high tannins more with berry flavors, that classic hint of pepper that we get from Syrah, floral, and then even a little bit of meatiness and leather uh, to the wines. Uh, there's a variety of oak programs that a winemaker can choose from. They can use a lot of new oak, they can use just older oak, and they can even use, they often even use larger barrels. Now, one of the traditions that if you've studied Rhone at all, you've probably heard of is that um, sort of a it's a, a unique thing is that we often you, you customarily there was a little touch of Viognier, sort of a dollop of Viognier, which is a white wine that was added to the mix. So you have to have 100 percent Syrah for the red grape, but you can in some cases you can add Viognier. This used to be very common. It's not really practiced that much now, but what the Viognier does is it helps stabilize the color extraction of the Syrah, and it also adds aromatics. Viognier is a very aromatic grape. 